Hello! Last video, I promised you that I would do a video about what I am packing for. And I am delivered. So, let me tell you a little story. There's this place in DC called Georgetown. It is a college. However, every summer, Georgetown opens their doors to youngins like myself and other high school peeps to go and learn about social justice and public policy. My flip flops for the shower. <laughs> and there are a bunch of different tracks. There is a gender justice track, a disability justice track, a racial justice track, a labor justice track, and the one that I am doing is an environmental justice track. The other ones that were really appealing to me were the LGBT justice and the labor justice, because I am LGBT and I like learning about how our policies are made, and I love learning about labor and labor unions and getting involved in all that stuff. However, the environmental track policy stuff really resonated with me. So, this summer, for three weeks, I am heading down to Georgetown to learn about how environmental policy is made and what kind of environmental policy is necessary in a time of climate crisis. I am so honored that my application was, like, accepted because I am just, sometimes it feels like I'm just a high school teenage activist shouting into a void, but programs like this make me feel like I can actually accomplish something. Yeah, I am most excited to meet other people who are really invested in the climate fight, and every fight, all of the tracks, the LGBT justice and disability justice, they're all so cool, and I'm super excited to meet everybody who will be working with them, and I am really honored that I will be able to share a space with them and hopefully talk about, like, climate solutions and thoughts about the Green New Deal and just a bunch of really cool stuff that I don't really have the opportunity to talk about or learn about from other people in person. I have a lot of climate friends on social media, but not a lot IRL, so I'm super hype. I'm so hype. In addition, for the first week, I am taking a class, part of, like a mini track on public speaking. And we are going, the goal is to put together a presentation, like a five to 10 minute presentation that we can give to our school or our community center or church or whatever. I, I know I have time, but I am starting to think about what, what I, what topic I want to pick. Because there's a lot of topics that I really want to dive deep into. Because there's stuff that I know a lot about. I could do a getting to the roots of climate change presentation about the patriarchy and colonialism and white supremacy. But there's also topics about like climate change in the prison systems or the effects of climate change on frontline communities. I don't know. I don't know, maybe when I'm there something will come to me, something will click, but in any case, I am so excited and honored to be a part of it, and I am going to really do everything I can to succeed there, because this is a really cool program, and I'm very lucky to be a part of it. I do try to recognize the privilege that I have, not only as a white person, but as a male passing person in climate spaces. And I think that's why this is Zero Hour and Sunrise Movement and other youth of color and women of color led organizations are so important. 
I always do my best to like support the campaigns and do what I can to be a part of them, but also to let young women of color lead because women and people of color are on the front lines of climate change. And I don't know, if you're a woman or a person of color and I screw up, I will always try and call myself out on it, but also the comments are open and like, please let me know if there's a way that I can best ally you or if I messed up and I will try, I will try as hard as I can because I know that I'm lucky. And if you ever want hype, like, let me know in the comments what it is that you're doing and if you need some hype and if you aren't getting it because of a lack of privilege or circumstances this platform is yours too. I started this to get young people and marginalized people and queer people together in the fight for climate justice so that we can stick together and not tear each other down for our differences because I see that a lot happening in climate spaces. So I sometimes get frustrated about that not being addressed more in climate spaces but also I realized that the first step is to constantly be addressing and readdressing my place in climate spaces. So other white people in the climate movement, keep that in mind. Also other queer people in the climate movement, I wanna hype you up too. I sometimes feel alone as a queer person in the climate movement, but queer people are also on the front lines of climate change. So if you want some hyping, let me know. I'll put all of the regular stuff in the description. I have hotlines, suicide lines, as well as organizations, places to donate, things to focus on, cool people, as much as I can. But I need to thank my mom for being awesome and my whole emotional support throughout my activism stuff. My dad for being super chill and great. My grandma for not only being wonderful and fantastic, but also enabling a lot of the stuff that I do for driving me to protests and for paying for this Georgetown visit. And my cool, cool bio teacher, who next year will be my environmental science and geology teacher, for not only giving them, a, recommending me for the program, but also to help, helping me learn as much as I can about this stuff. Yeah, so thank you for being here in this cool space. I'm very glad to share it with you. Welcome, always. Let's stick together, solve this crisis together. We got this. And until next time, stay safe, stay snazzy, and do what you can. Peace out.